Our company name is Neighborhood Outreach Access to Health, and our primary focus is providing healthcare services to the community. We offer healthcare services including medical, dental, behavioral health, nutrition, psychiatry, and also community resources. So we go out into the community, make sure the community knows about our services, and then connect them back to our centers for all of our comprehensive care. Our company name started as a program of Scottsdale Healthcare, now Honor Health, back in 1997. So hospital leaders, community leaders came together to find a way to provide access to care for children in our community. And from that came our mobile unit, volunteer nurses going out on our bus, providing screenings to children. We are now 10 community health centers across the valley and our growth has been tremendous. Um, for us, it's a matter of expanding, not only in sites, but in our services to provide more services to the community. You know, our inspiration stems back to the legacy of community health centers that started over 50 years ago. Those two small projects in rural communities providing healthcare services uh, to the area. We now have grown across the nation to over 1,800 sites. And I think the inspiration for us continues to be that families in our community need healthcare. What drives our success is our integrated care model, our ability to provide medical, dental, behavioral health services all under one roof. And what continues to drive our passion is the families that we serve, that without our services, they would have nowhere else to turn for healthcare. The most important part of our chamber membership is the value, the value of connecting us to partners, to other agencies that may help with the work that we do. Um, it's also connecting us to the community. Uh, a lot of times you hear we're the best kept secret and we don't want to be that. And so that's really the value and the partnership that the chamber brings to us. We uh, have many ways to connect with families. We connect with community partners. So we go out to agencies, provide presentations, we participate in community events. Um, we host our own health events. So for example, we just hosted our back to school event for kids, for communities, very low income, getting those kids in for their screenings so that they're healthy and well to go back to school. So the future of healthcare is changing every day. What I do know is that our services will continue to be needed. And so whether it's medical or behavioral health, our services are needed for this community. And so for us, it's a bright future, an opportunity for us to expand into other areas and to serve more.